Actress Alyssa Milano has released a fake sex tape which propagandizes for an attack on Syria. And how this was done, as you can see from her official Twitter, is that the so-called sex tape was leaked onto the Funny or Die website. And then uh, shortly afterwards, she herself posted it on her official Twitter, pretending as if it was a genuinely leaked real sex tape, therefore attracting a ton of media attention. And of course, attracting the kind of zombies that will only pay attention to an issue when it's allied with salacious scandal or mindless nonsense. So when you actually watch the so-called sex tape, it's actually a clip of a kind of newsreader type person basically regurgitating the official narrative without any of the nuance or extraneous circumstances regarding an attack on Syria. It's basically a promotion of the Obama administration's propaganda on the attack, the upcoming attack on Syria. And then in the actual description for the video, she writes, or whoever put out this video writes, if you think people ought to be more informed about Syria in a creative way, you could share and tweet this. So the whole idea is this is about informing the zombies, the kind of people who tweeted out en masse the Coney 2012 video, which turned out to be, again, a propaganda exercise in justifying US military intervention in Africa. It's aimed at those people, and it's couched in this idea of watch this become more informed about Syria in a creative way. <laughs> but the fact is... It doesn't inform anyone, it just regurgitates what we've heard from, you know, CNN, ABC, Fox News, a lot of them. It doesn't add any of the nuance, any of the opposing arguments that have been vigorously made in opposition to an attack on Syria, uh, which have resulted in polls in virtually every major Western country, Britain and America at the forefront of that, where the significant majority of the population oppose the attack on Syria. But this so-called sex video basically says Bashar al-Assad was responsible for killing his own people. Now Obama's going to strike him. It basically ends on that. It doesn't add any detail. It doesn't inform anybody about both sides of the debate. Of course, the sex tape, which is designed to inform people on Syria, makes no mention whatsoever of last week's revelations where the Associated Press and BBC correspondent Dale Gavlak, in association with her colleague, who went to Ghouta, the area affected by the chemical weapons attack, interviewed the rebels there, the FSA Western-backed insurgents, who admitted that they were given the chemical weapons but not trained to handle them, causing the accident, causing the explosion that led to the horrible chemical weapons incident, which occurred on August 21st. No mention whatsoever of that. And, of course, no mention of the incident back in March, which was then revealed in May, to have been, again, the responsibility of the Western-backed rebels. They were caught using sarin nerve gas. Of course, yesterday it came out, the Russian analysis of this incident also confirmed the original UN statement from Carla Del Ponte that rebels did use chemical weapons back in March, but that wasn't enough apparently to cross Obama's red line of course because he's only concerned about the Syrian government using chemical weapons because of the long planned regime change going back to at least the weeks after 9-11 as revealed by General Wesley Clark. So again just the two little points that you would probably like to include in a debate about an attack on Syria neither of which are mentioned in the supposedly informative and creative fake sex tape Alyssa Milano video. So here's a little clip from the Alyssa Milano sex tape, which is being used to propagandize to promote a war on Syria. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com. Chemical weapons attack by the Assad government killed nearly 1,400 Syrian civilians. Okay. 
This brutal action by the Syrian government on its own citizens crossed President Obama's red line.